Hi, this is Greg Isles, the author of Natchez Burning. I get asked a lot how much truth there is to the cases in Natchez Burning and in the trilogy that follows on. Uh, there's quite a bit, actually. Um, I was initially inspired to head in this plot direction when I became friends with a reporter named Stanley Nelson, who worked at a tiny little newspaper across the river from Natchez, my hometown. Uh, all on his own, he began to investigate some cold civil rights murders that the FBI had seriously dropped the ball on for more than 30 years. And he began to make very rapid progress, so much in fact that he began getting weekly calls from the FBI trying to pick his brain and see what evidence he had, what, whereas they would not give him information. And uh, it became a very frustrating process for him. To a degree, it was a dangerous process. He was working in the Deep South, and he was pursuing cases where the perpetrators were still alive and these were violent men. Um, in the book, there's a group called the Double Eagle Group. They're based on a real-life group called the Silver Dollar Group. If you Google them, you will find quite a bit of stories written by Stanley. Now, the Silver Dollar Group was the most violent offshoot of the Ku Klux Klan ever to exist in America. Many of them were combat veterans. They did not wear robes. They did not attend any public meetings. The only identification they had was each carried a silver dollar minted in the year of his birth. And these men existed simply to beat, torture, and kill both African Americans and any possible traitors in the, in the white race. And uh, they hurt quite a few people. Now, as far as the Penn Cage side of the story, um, you'll often hear a saying that uh, sometimes you have to wait for the principles to die before you can write certain stories. Um, in my case, I went through a tragedy nearly dying in a car wreck that made me decide that life was too short to wait to uh, write certain things about this story. So this trilogy very much, I don't want to sound pretentious, but is my magnum opus if there's going to be one. If you're looking for the truth about the South and about America, and of course race I think still tends to be the thorn in the side of America. If you watch any television, you see that. Um, in these books, there are some answers. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope it doesn't come across like a history lesson. I don't think it does. But I think in trying to get to the truth of the Cage family and the truth of the murders they investigate, you will learn some things about the deepest relationship between the white and black races, both positive and negative. So thank you. Hope you enjoy it.